this is Deanne from Rainbow Resource Center, and today I want to share a sampling of the fun schooling journals available from Thinking Tree. Before we take a peek into the books, let's begin with a little wordplay. I may be aging myself here, but it's a little bit like Sesame Street. Which of these things is not like the other? Ready? Delight Directed, Unschooling, Eclectic, Charlotte Mason. In a learning environment, they may seem more alike than different. Each of these terms describes a learning path or an educational philosophy, and each one is known for their belief that children are directly involved in their learning. Whether studying critters that they find in nature that they are interested in, or taking responsibility for their own education as they pursue a delight-directed or unschooling model of learning. For many homeschoolers, this mom included, this sounds a little like nirvana. You know, a place of absolute bliss where our children are self-motivated and self-directed, taking complete responsibility and ownership of their learning. But then there's the reality of Monday morning. In my early homeschool days, I followed a relaxed homeschool model, mixing the Charlotte Mason and unit study philosophies, which I guess makes me eclectic. We experimented with the unschooling model, but found we, <clears throat> I mean me, I needed more guidance. While much of our history and science was delight-directed and student-directed as my children grew, in the early days, I would have welcomed an assortment of fun schooling, thinking tree learning journals to provide my children and myself a little bit of guidance. So what are fun schooling learning journals? They are guided learning for the student. They are self-directed. They're black and white template pages that encourage doodling, coloring, drawing, allowing our children's creativity to flow. They are a permanent record of our children's educational journey. And they're the perfect companion to your cortex or guided book studies in select subject areas. Excited to learn more? Let's take a look at a few of the options available. I do want to mention the journals have targeted age groups, but are flexible for most ages. The Charlotte Mason Homeschool Journal and Delight Directed Learning Handbook is the first one we're going to take a look at. This handbook will inspire your children to pursue the gentle methods of Charlotte Mason. Children will begin by identifying nine things that they want to learn and then are tasked to find nine or more books to learn from. Journal pages offer similar activities throughout and include doodling and simple drawing activities, picture studies, a nature study drawing page, space to illustrate or write passages from the chosen books, film and movie study pages, and much more. Black and white illustrations allow children to freely color. Children are expected to complete about 10 pages per day. In sync with the self-directed learning model, students are encouraged to freely create a personalized journal based on their own interests. Concluding the journal is the My Storyboard or World History, which is 16 pages dedicated to creating a timeline from 1 AD to 2020. And this is followed by six future pages. You will need pencils, colored pencils, pens, and markers to complete these activities. The Thinking Tree Nature Study Handbook, 12 Months in the Forest, is designated as a curiosity journal that provides 12 months of guided discovery. Children are encouraged to use their observation skills, colored pencils, and living books to learn more about the natural world around them. Monthly activity pages follow a similar pattern, including pages to color and draw, nature poems, research pages for regional and common animals, as well as well-known plants and trees. Personal collections are also encouraged. Let's take a look at the January activities. The first thing you will notice is the blank January calendar pages. Students will fill in the current date and are encouraged to draw a tiny picture of something they find in nature each day. Struggling writers or younger ones could also use stickers or small images from a magazine. The next page is a coloring page of a forest scene in January. The corresponding page is the same scene with a missing section for children to draw in the missing parts. A nature poem follows, which can be read aloud or memorized. And after reading the poem, children will illustrate the poem and write 10 nouns to start with the letter N. They will also fill in all the blanks with the missing words to the poem, which aids memorization, attention to detail, and provides handwriting practice. Also included in January are coloring pages, a collections page, a cloud or weather page, and research pages. Take a look at the worksheet for researching animals in my region. Notice how the page is open-ended. Children can select which animal they want to learn more about and will record the common and scientific name, draw and illustrate the male and female, and color on a map where the animal lives. This journal uses the patented dyslexic font. Black and white illustrations allow for creative coloring. 
Our next journal is the Fun Schooling Science, all about space journal. Having a son that loved all things space, we spent months learning about the solar system, space travel, and astronaut life using resources from NASA and the library. We created our own notebook of learning, but this fun schooling journal would have been a great companion to our studies. Like the other Thinking Tree journals, children create their own learning experience through library books and educational videos. There is some repetition built into the activity pages, but this journal provides students space to create their own spacecraft, copy a paragraph from the book they are reading, create a space timeline, write a story, color and doodle space-related pages, do additional research, and so on. There are also research projects included that guide students through some hands-on learning, for example, constructing constellations and building a refracting telescope. Topics covered include space, the solar system, black holes, planets, including Pluto, space exploration and discoveries, and various research projects including space missions and discoveries, astronaut training, animals in space, the string theory, and the Big Bang theory and biblical creation. Since the template pages are to be filled in, no religious or evolutionary content is included. As a family, you could easily skip these pages. While the journal is flexible, children will want to complete five to 10 pages per day based on their abilities. There are some supplies you will need to provide like pencils, colored pencils, gel pens, and the recommended craft and experiment supplies, which are easily found. For example, index cards and regular or mini marshmallows, rubber bands, straws, jar, tempera paints, that sort of thing. Let's take a look at two of the do-it-yourself fun schooling journals, which focus on student-directed, independent learning and target the upper middle school child. The do-it-yourself curriculum, Fun Schooling with Minecraft, begins by having children choose eight topics they wish to study with action steps for a successful study. The author also provides some recommended resources to complement the study. While not required, these recommended resources provide a framework for study and include computer access and personal Minecraft world, audiobooks, story of the world for the classical child, classical music to play, uh, Google Earth access, and parent approved news sources. There's also educational videos and movies recommended and a math curriculum, for example, Life of Fred or Matthew C., which the author suggests. A wider range of subject areas are covered, including reading, creative writing, spelling of vocabulary, classical literature and music, mathematics, science, geography, current events, and much more. Woven throughout are research projects to learn about mining in the real world, which provides a fascinating rabbit trail to a Minecraft study. There is also a list of suggested school supplies, pencils and colored pencils, gel pens, origami paper, and a ruler. Let's take a look at a few pages. The math time allows you to practice your assigned math problems. There's a place to record what you listen to during the day or the lessons and boxes to draw and doodle in. There's a nature study page and the challenge to create the same in your Minecraft world. And the open-ended vocabulary building pages, which encourage children to focus on the words and definitions that they do not know, rather than giving the child a specific list of words that may be redundant or boring because they already know them. This journal also uses the patented dyslexic font. The Do-It-Yourself Time Travel Journal American History Timeline is a US-centered research handbook and covers the following time periods. Native Americans and the Vikings, the European explorers, the settling of America, the founding of the USA, and then the 18 to 1900 time period with a focus on the Civil War. Then it also covers modern times through the information age that ends in 2018. Children are directed to choose four books and one documentary about each era to complete their research. Use of the internet is also recommended. Depending on the age of your learner, this may be supervised or you may choose to add additional physical resources. But let's take a look at a couple sample pages. Children are encouraged to personalize their journal by drawing and illustrating the books that they choose to use for their research. The next page is for copying an interesting or important paragraph from one of the books. They will also list the book title, page number, and draw an illustration. The next couple pages you will see show children impactful quotes that had the greatest impact on the hearts of many Americans during the Civil War. While younger children may not be mature enough for Uncle Tom's Cabin, this is still a perfect opportunity to introduce them to this important resource. Like other Thinking Tree journals, children will need a set of colored pencils and gel markers. Probably one of the most challenging areas to cover, at least for me, as a relaxed delight-directed homeschooler, was literature studies. Not that we didn't read good books. In fact, we did. 
We devoured a great number of excellent books over the years, but the study of well-known authors and even some classical books just didn't get done. Which brings me to the final Thinking Tree book I want to share in this video, Pondering the Past, a creative introduction to 30 classical stories which target students in grades five and up. Formatted differently than the other open-ended fun schooling journals, this book, called a workbook by the author, includes a short introduction to the stories and the authors listed below, followed by three pages of illustrations, copy work, learning prompts, and research activities for each story and author. The books introduced are a representation of classical stories that are often required in middle school, high school, or even university courses. For example, Robinson Crusoe, Pride and Prejudice, Treasure Island, and A Christmas Carol. This would be a good option for a child struggling with dyslexia as it uses a dyslexia-friendly font to help prevent letter reversals and reading confusion. Our sample page is from A Secret Garden. You will notice a black and white book illustration on one page, and the other page identifies the genre, author, and publication date. A brief author biography is included, as well as an excerpt from a chapter. Students are asked to identify three unfamiliar or interesting words and look them up in a dictionary. The following pages are student-directed and ask the student to find another book by the same author, describe the characters, copy two paragraphs, create an illustration, and even journal something that they can learn from the past. Each classic work studied is formatted similarly, which allows for independent learning while covering many commonly required works of literature. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this peek into the Thinking Tree Fun Schooling journals. Uniquely, these meet the needs of many homeschoolers, but they also provide an engaging way to keep our children learning all summer long through their own delight-directed studies. Parents, you have a little direction with these books, and there's templates for the student to follow. Children are then free to creatively learn and gain skills necessary on their journey to becoming a self-learner. We would love to hear from you about this or any other curriculum. Our number is 888-841-3456 or contact us via email at consultants at rainbowresource.com. Thank you.